Jess, you're the love of my life. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. I remember when I first knew that I was in love with you. Ian, today I become your wife, standing before our friends and family in our favorite place, the place where we've shared countless memories so dear to our hearts. I am so grateful we met in grad school five years ago. You are truly one of the most thoughtful, kind-hearted people, always ready to put others before yourself. To have you as my best friend, adventure buddy, biggest supporter, and now husband, is my greatest accomplishment in life. It was our drive back from Seattle to Missoula. We were in my beat up Subaru and the wires were hanging out of the dash. It was not a comfy drive. When we got over the hill in Frenchtown, the M in the distance, the only thing that I felt was I didn't want the drive to end. Forever will never be long enough with you. So from this day forward, I vow to make the most of every day we have together. To listen intently to all of your facts about baseball and the things you learned from World War II documentaries. To summit the peaks and surmount the valleys, both literally and figuratively with you. To love you for all that you are and to remain by your side as we inevitably evolve into the people we aspire to be. I do vow to love you with all my heart forever. About to put us first, put you first, take care of our family the way a husband's supposed to. About to make you laugh every day and be proactive about planning fun times, always going on dates. Jess, since you agreed to marry me, I want you to know I don't underestimate the trust and the faith you've put in me. You have taught me to see life through a different lens, one that does not cast judgment and to see the good in people. And I am a better person for knowing you. I love you with my whole heart, always and forever. We are gathered here today to witness and celebrate the union of Jess and Ian in marriage. In the years they've been together, their love and understanding of each other has grown and matured and now they've decided to live their lives together as husband and wife. This is a remarkable moment when you commit life's journey with your person. Ian and Jess met in college here at the University of Montana. And when I heard you guys were getting married and getting married here in Missoula, I couldn't help but be excited. Um, this is a place that uh, we all have such fond memories. Um, but most of all, Jess, Ian's a very lucky man. You're a beautiful bride. Ian, though. <laughs> Ian, did you even shave today? <laughs> Marriage gives a permanent structure to a couple's love. It's a bold step into an unknown future, risking who we are for the sake of who we can be. It's telling the person you love that you're not going anywhere, no matter what life may throw at you. It is my great honor to be the first person to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Ian Davies. For Ian and Jess, out of the routine, ordinary life, the extraordinary has happened. They've met each other, fell in love, and are opening a new chapter of adventure today by promising to choose each other for the rest of their lives. Marriage gives
It's a permanent structure to a couple's love. It's a bold step into an unknown future, risking who we are for the sake of who we can be. For both of you, marriage is a way to tell each other that no matter how many times Jess wins at everything you two compete at, or how many not-so-fun, fun facts Ian cares to share, you're in this together. If you have a drink, please join me in a toast. Ian and Jess, congratulations on your marriage. May your marriage be as happy in the future as it is today. Cheers. <laughs> I think the world of Jess, I see how she has built her career. What a role model she is. And then Ian also, um, a very hard worker. We're very you know, proud of everything that, that he's accomplished and we wish them the best. I, I'm thinking that from now on when they drive, they, they're, they're heading this way, and they just come out of French town and they see that M, it'll mean got married there. <laughs> Good luck, you guys. Just do a toast to Ian and Jack. To exhaust an already worn out metaphor of marriage as a journey, I realize as I write this, that drive never really did end. And it never will. I love you, honey. <laughs>